I'm Kenny. Recently got an email from a Hungarian dancer asking about knee injuries, uh, preventing and then also trying to heal from them. Um, so these are just some answers that I had. Uh, first of all, I am by no means a medical professional. My knowledge has been gained through the parkour community, through Apex Movement in Denver, Colorado, and also Boulder, Colorado. And then also I do a great deal of chiropractic care at Vital Balance Chiropractic in Lafayette. Uh, that being said, first question dealt with footwear. Um, I personally use Vivo Barefoot, I like a very a minimalist style with my footwear and basically it just offers about three to four millimeter protection. These are their saddle shoe, um, they're a little bit dressier so I like them for Lindy Hop, maybe for West Coast Swing and also they have a smoother sole versus this more active one. Um, I don't remember particularly what style this is but another Vivo shoe that a lot of the parkour practitioners wear and both of these shoes are very flexible. Um, for those dancers that have to do a lot of uh, foot articulation and their dances like West Coast Swing. Um, so, there's that. Um, now, first of all, let's talk about dance. Um, first of all, the, pound, the pulse, the bounce. Um, what I see a lot of times from Balboa, Blues, and various other dancers is I see them bouncing with their knees. I see their knees coming out in front of their ankles right there. What I'd like for you to do is take your hands on your hip flexors and bend from the hips right there. Okay, have more of a hip bounce, try to get uh, your hip flexors a little bit looser so that you can have that bounce right there. We we'll talk about how to get uh, some of that loose flexibility into the hip flexors. Um, the other things that I see is pivot turns. Oftentimes what I see is if I, if I have to turn down the line right here, what I see people do is I see them reach and so you'll notice that my hips are facing a different direction than my foot and then my knee. Uh, this can lead to knee injuries right here. What I'd like for you to think about is I want you to think about taking a step and then you're going to go pivot, step. Yeah, I can step again and try that. I can turn away the other direction. I can go pivot, step. So when you're taking pivot turns, I want you to think about going pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, step. So that you can step in line with your hips. All right? So you're not going to get any weird, hopefully no weird twisting motion in your knees. So that's a dance perspective. Um, some exercises, this is one that I got from Levi Muenberg over at Tempest Freerunning Academy. Um, just getting in the slight bend right here, yeah, again hips back, and then just swirling the knees, just different directions, loosening those up. That's just one of the warm-ups that we did before doing some parkour training with them. So those are some knee swirls right there. Talked a little bit about hip flexors. I enjoy doing squats, so again, I want to think about letting the knees track over the ankles and then trying to keep my chest up, and that in a straight line right there, getting the hips back, and then I can snap these up, okay? And then also while we're down there, we can just practice holding a nice third world squat. Right there, I got my hands out for balance, sitting there, and then if you can, you can eventually think about how mobile you are by uh, getting that really tight. If you're less mobile, you might have to open up your stance, and I've seen people also open up their feet, but eventually try to get your uh, toes pointing the same direction as your shins. Okay? So you have that position. Now how I managed to heal from a meniscus injury because I only could do this and eventually I wanted to get to this. Yeah, so I wanted that mobility range. I had to do a lot of single-legged squats or pistols and how I had to work my way there is I had to start with high targets moving my way to lower ones until eventually I could do them on my own. So what that looks like right here and I definitely recommend doing an even amount on both legs, otherwise uh, you might end up with one glute larger than the other. Looks a little weird. Um, so lower targets. This is a shoe box that's completely filled. All right. Yeah. But especially if you have a weak knee, you might have to take slowly and push up if you can. All right. Try to get that whole range of motion right there. Um, try to take things nice and easy. Um, the other things, this is what I got from somebody. Um, this is a uh, Bulgarian lunge, all right? You can find a picnic bench, but you can let that back knee tap right there. But in this same position, what we can do is, this is for the knee stabilizers, is we're gonna go side, middle, side, middle, side, middle, side, middle. All right, and you can challenge yourself by stepping out, making that a little bit deeper right there. But that was a good exercise for somebody that had some bad knees and they were getting that from their uh, therapist. 
Um, some other ones are shrimp squats. Um, definitely check out demon drills on YouTube. Uh, intermediate is a one hand hold right here. You're going to let the knee touch the ground while keeping the weighted foot completely flat on the ground. All right. And this is also a good exercise for getting those um, hip flexors open. So those are some exercises. Those are some other things to watch out for in dance and Vivo Barefoot, Merrill's, and there's some other great brands for footwear. But I definitely say go barefoot as you're trying to heal and come back from any injury. That's it.